In Australia, a lot of people believe that uh, our allegiance is to England because we're a Commonwealth. But uh, in actual fact, we're the 51st state of the United States, okay? We're owned and bought by them. What happened during World War II when the Japanese were bombed Darwin a few times? The President of Australia, the Prime Minister of Australia at the time, Menzies, turned and uh, asked America if they could assist us. Now, because America was already in the Pacific, they went and they went, they stationed a couple of uh, destroyers in Brisbane. And um, ever since that inc incident, the incident of World War II, uh, America owes Australia. And we are probably, we are most likely owned by, uh, sorry, we're most likely owned by America. Um, for instance, we have a place in the middle of Australia here called Pine Gap, which is, it's an offshoot of NASA, probably, probably an offshoot of DARPA. Who knows what goes on out there? It's out in the middle of Australia and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very barren and, and very uh, isolated area. On top of that, we also have uh, the Echelon Group, which is working out of Geraldton in WA. Not many people know that. And this is a uh, spy, spy complex. You know, they get to listen in on, on the rest of, what, of Asia and, and all telecommunication satellites uh, activity that's going on around the world. So for those who believe that Australia is, um, is more in sync with England, not the case. Because... If there was ever to be a war tomorrow, let's say in our region, for the same reason that we're, we're, we've bought all the jet fighters from America, uh, we are and, and always have been, well, have been for at least the last 50, 60 years, um, linked with America, the United States. And when Obama or whoever's in the White House asks our Prime Minister to jump, he not only, said, he not only asks how high, he asked in what direction and how long do you want me to stay up in the air, okay? So that's why, in actual fact, when it comes to Australian politics, only being a nation of 23 million, I really don't waste my time with the bullshit here. At the end of the day, everybody's got to realise that the, the, the concept of empire still exists. America has over 1,200 bases worldwide. Who do you think the empire is today? And who is the largest empire probably in history? In history, right? Because, well, based on those, the, the, the ancient facts, it was the known world, so you could say Rome. But, um, but today, in modern day, America is it. They're the boss. They're the boss. They are an empire. And people have got to understand the concept of empire. And, and just because you lived in a developed country and it's modern and you've got... Don't be, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. America is an empire, and they do as they please. And that's what empires do. I'm not knocking it, because I understand it. I understand that, that the whole concept of empire is to kill, destroy, and win. And that's what they're doing. And that's why America gets to do as they please through the Fed, through any policy that goes, goes through, through um, Washington. They can pretty much do as they please, and they do so. Understand these people. You've really got to understand that America really is an empire. They are awesome empire. They are massive. And, and when people related to situations like Afghanistan and Vietnam, that America, they claim, lost those wars. No, they didn't. They didn't lose those wars. The best way to continue to allow the economy to progress is to leave wars um, unfinished, just like they did with Iraq, okay? They jumped out, and then they got back in. And that way, the industrial military complex keeps churning on, okay? There's a lot of money to be made in allowing wars to just carry on, carry on. Just keep, keep continuing to, from here to kingdom come, all right? You've got to understand that. You really think that America couldn't go in and, and, and beat Afghanistan or they couldn't have beat the, beat the Vietnamese? Come on, wake up, please, please. I'm annoyed by people when they, they tell me stuff like that online or in the street or in a social environment. America is an awesome power. And how do I know that? Because DARPA, which is an offshoot of NASA and an offshoot of the, 
the military in America, their, their mission statement is we exist to surprise when our enemies come to strike. They've got technology that's probably minimum, minimum 20 years ahead of what we see today. Because whatever you see from DARPA, the exoskeletons, all the transhuman stuff on YouTube, they're not, what, what are they morons? Are they gonna, are they gonna put stuff on, on YouTube that, that their enemies can, um, can investigate? I mean, come on people, wake the hell up, you know? I get annoyed, I get very annoyed. And, uh, but mind you, another thing, China and Russia, the other two empires, also have their own secret projects, okay? They've got their own little industries going too, but they're never going to be as large as America's. They're never. America is that big. And right, so, yeah, going back to the fact of Australia, we, we are the 51st state of America. That's it. 23 million people. You know what I mean? Let's say we're a... Uh, a, a a, a, a Florida 2.0. Understand that. 